You're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content, and this is our preview of the DSP Leaders Summit on the Cloud Native Telco. Joining me now is Ray Lemaitre, Editorial Director at Telecom TV and co-host of the summit, as well, of course, as being Telecom's appassionato di caffè. Hello, Ray. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> we'll get to Cloud Native in a moment, but more importantly, what's the Bean of the Week recommendation? Well, now that I've looked up what you said on Google Translate, I know it wasn't abusive. The bean of the week is organic Peruvian high roast from the Algerian coffee store in Soho. And uh, I can tell you it is bold and nutty. Sounds just like our esteemed colleague, Martin Warwick. Uh, I think we should match beans and blends with all our DSP leaders summits going forward and give the industry a much needed shot of caffeine. Right, the cloud native telco. Coming up, we have sessions over three days, building on last year's inaugural cloud native telco event, which was held in London. This year we are online, of course, so we're working hard to ensure that we get the best possible viewer engagement. And to get the most out of the summit, you need to be a registered user of Telecom TV. There is no charge because we're very nice people. So if you haven't already done so, then please register to take part and get engaged. Telecomtv.com slash cloud native. That's where you need to be. It's as simple as that. We'll send you an email reminder to watch with all the details and you'll be able to send questions to our panelists. We really do want to hear from you. So to pique your interest in the event and get you thinking about questions, Ray and I are going to take you through what we have in store. Day one is happening on Tuesday, the 22nd of September. We have live Q&A show scheduled for 4.30 p.m. UK time but more about that later. New videos will be posted during the day to watch on demand whenever and however you want. Ray, what can we look forward to seeing on day one of the Cloud Native Telco? How are we gonna kick things off? Well, Guy, we're starting with a one-to-one -one executive interview with, with Kevin Schatzkamer. Uh, he's very well known for his time at Cisco and Dell, but he recently joined Google Cloud as the Digital Transformation Officer for Telecoms. Uh, he talks about what that role means at Google Cloud, also the key trends that he's watching in the industry, uh, such as uh, Edge and the use of data, and of course, Cloud Native. And he also talks about how NFE has laid the path uh, for Cloud Native within the telecoms industry. And that's a very timely conversation because the panel we have running on day one is all about that, that topic, about how NFE uh, is part of the uh, evolution towards uh, cloud native. That panel has representatives from Colt, VMware, Etsy, and the TM Forum. Uh, and it's a really great discussion. And, uh, and one of the reasons it's really great is because not everybody agrees on what is being said. So uh, a really good one to, to look out for there. Yeah, that's becoming rarer and rarer in telecoms that we get that, uh, you know, different viewpoints on, on the same panel. Uh, you know, I'm really pleased that we were able to tie this in with the NFE Evolution content from last month with this month's Cloud Native Telco and especially bringing the new chairman of Etsy's NFE ISG into the debate. The dynamics here are, are really interesting. So day two. Day two is on Wednesday, the 23rd of September, and we move to looking at the importance of skilled people and new processes as telcos look to operationalize cloud native. Don't forget to register if you want to engage with the panelists and speakers during the live Q&A session, which again is happening at 4.30 p.m. UK time. That magic URL once more, telecomtv.com slash cloud native. That's pretty much your access all areas pass. Ray, we start off with a panel on people and processes, which continues to be a major factor for successful cloud native adoption, and yet one which telcos just, just keep wrestling with. Absolutely. Uh, and I think, you know, we've been hearing that, uh, you know, less than a year ago, uh, some service providers were thinking that uh, uh, they would be able to uh, buy in some tools that would help them with their CI, CD and agile processes. But, you know, that simply is not enough. It's about 
uh, reskilling uh, the workforce. It's about um, uh, training and organising the operations teams in a new way. And uh, you know, the panel looks at this. The panel with speakers from Verizon and the ONF, looking at exactly what operators need to do to prepare to to make that shift into the cloud native world. You know, really, really hot topic. It certainly is. And it's a bit of a double bubble day on Wednesday because we've got a second panel discussion for everyone. This one is on how to operationalize cloud native deployments and raise evidence that we appear to have moved on from the what is cloud native and why should I be bothered phase with an increasing number of telcos now looking at how they actually develop cloud native in an operational environment. Yeah, absolutely. And this is where some of the, uh, the early movers are from the telco community uh, in terms of, of their cloud native adoption. Um, this is starting to become d part of their day to day operations. Uh, they're, they're seeing how this is impacting how their teams work, but also what they're capable of achieving. Uh, so we've got a really good panel there. Um, you know, we have a representative from uh, Verizon. Again, one of the uh, operators that's deemed to be uh, an, an early mover a bit more advanced than some of the operators in terms of the adoption of cloud native processes uh, and also speakers there from HPE, Wind River and the Linux Foundation. Um, and this is where the rubber hits the road in terms of cloud native at the network operators because once you've started cloud native you can't really go back and you wouldn't want to go back from what we're hearing from the operators. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right there. Uh, and I think we're starting to, to mirror this cloud native model of day zero, day one and day two with this year's panels. And I expect to hear more discussion in the coming year around this ongoing operations and maintenance of cloud native based telco implementations. So to our third and final day, Thursday, the 24th of September, when we move to looking at the relationship between cloud native and the telco cloud. Again, you'll have to register if you want to participate in the live Q&A session, which is happening, yep, you guessed it, at 4.30 p.m. UK time. Pop over to telecomtv.com slash cloudnative if you haven't already done so. Ray, we come to the sizzling hot topic of the telco cloud, where even the merest mention of it on social media is enough to engulf you in flames. Well, as I think you can tell from this picture, it's already getting me pretty hot and steamy under the collar already, just you mentioning it. Uh, but yeah, it's again, it's another one of these really uh, key topics. Uh, a lot of discussion there has been uh, for, for, for quite a long time, but we're still at the very early stages of, of companies figuring out what is the telco cloud for them. Uh, we start off that day with a one-to-one -one discussion with one of the most um, ardent, uh, I would say, supporters of adopting the public cloud as part of a telco cloud strategy, and that's Danielle Royston. And then we have a, a panel discussion uh, involving Telia Carrier and Red Hat, uh, looking at what the, the telco cloud can mean for different types of operators and what that distributed functionality could mean uh, for telcos in terms of their operations, but also what it can mean in terms of the kind of services they, they can deliver and what it means for their, uh, for their customers ultimately. Yeah, it's a great panel, that one, and well worth watching. Uh, then to, to wrap up the day, and indeed this year's Cloud Native Telco Summit, we have our Q&A session, one last chance to grill the guests, and we've got a lot of guests returning for the live Q&A. Also, it helps us set the agenda for our ongoing coverage of Cloud Native here on Telecom TV. You know the score by now. Register on Telecom TV, send in your questions, watch the videos, send in even more questions and then join us at 4.30 p.m. UK time, which is 5.30 CET and 8.30 a.m. Pacific time for our North American viewers. We've also got a poll on the website and we'd be really grateful if you could look at that and complete that for us as well. For us now though, it's almost gin o'clock and we hope you can join us with a time zone appropriate beverage of choice. It may be five o'clock somewhere, but that is no excuse to get at the Jack D, no matter what they say down in Nashville. Ray, are you all set for next week? Well, what uh, do you mean uh, no excuse? I mean, uh, I think, you know, we need to crack in early <laughs> doors. Uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, um, you know, what time of the day it is. And of course, if you're not a JD fan, there's also uh, a lighter beverage. Of course, other beers are available, Guy. Uh, coffee any time of the day. These may be a little bit more of a narrow window. Or all together. Yeah, well, it's good to have choice. Uh, and I'm going to have to make sure that I've got a grinder full of beans and a fully stocked bar. I think we're going to need them next week. 
Well, that's all from us, other than to say we hope you can join us for the Cloud Native Telco Summit. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please do get in touch with us, send in your questions and have a look at that poll at the same time. We also want to hear your ideas, anything at all about Cloud Native. We really want to hear from you. For now, though, stay safe and we will see you again on Tuesday. Goodbye.